Okay, if you will get started, so when you're ready, we're gonna be standing. <clears throat> we'll find a comfortable position here, roll the shoulders back. We're gonna do a big inhale up with the arms, exhale up and over, reach forward, forward fold, find a nice stretch here, reaching for your toes. Inhale, exhale, nice and slow, roll one bone at a time, all the way up, head being the last thing to rise. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, switch to one side. Find that nice rotation stretch. Keep the hips pointing forward. Inhaling back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, twist up and over to the other side. Looking behind that shoulder. Inhaling up. Exhale, find a side bend, one direction. Good. Inhale. Exhale, side bend to the other direction.
straight arms down to the forearms, back to the knees, or all the way back to the toes. We're just holding one plank. Tuck the tailbone, gaze at your fingertips, crown at your head lengthening. Good, fingertips spread. Core is engaged, we're here for five, four, three, two, one, knees down, child's pose, hips over heels, reach those arms nice and long. Take your hands over to the right side of the mat, getting a little stretch there to the left side of the body. Back to center over to the left side. Back to center. We're going to come to a seated position when you're ready. So I'm going to have an emphasis on the exercise scissors today, but we're going to do a lot of core work, a lot of inner thighs. So I'm going to start with a stretch here. I'm going to have um, right knee bent, and then the left leg is going to be straight. So left leg straight, right knee bent. You're going to reach for that left leg and pull up into a position here. So find a nice stretch. If that's too much on the quad, you can just find a stretch here. Good. So you're gonna take that leg towards you, pulling in, and then you're gonna slowly roll one bone at a time all the way down. Make sure you have enough room to roll back behind. That leg will go up towards the ceiling. Let's get a stretch here. Hand behind the thigh or the calf. Point and flex the toe. Nice stretch here on that quad. We warmed it up earlier. Good. You're going to reach those hands up as high as you can on the calf. Inhale, exhale. You're going to press into that right foot as you roll back up into that climate tree position. Good. Take the leg down. Shake it out. Take an inhale and an exhale. We're going to do one more on this side when you're ready. Hand behind. You can always modify here if that straight leg is too much. So hand behind the thigh or the calf. Finding that stretch here to start when you're ready. You're going to slowly roll, scooping one bone at a time all the way down. Find that stretch here on the hamstring. Point and flex the toe up towards the ceiling. Good. And then reaching up high. Inhale, exhale. Roll back up into that half teaser position. That foot will come down. We'll switch and get the other side. So now left leg is bent, right leg is straight. Finding that stretch here first, pull the leg in. Good. Once you found that pull in and you're ready, it's a nice scoop. One bone at a time, all the way down. Hands walk down the thigh. Point and flex the toe here at the bottom. Get a nice stretch for that right leg. Good. Point the toe. Walk your hands up the leg. Inhale. Exhale. Scooping up into that calf teaser position. Set the leg down. Take an inhale and an exhale. We've got one more on this side. You guys got it. When you're ready. Again, modification. You can always go here. Otherwise, it's that straight leg pulling the leg in towards you. And then scooping one bone at a time. Walking the hands down the thigh. Point and flex the toe at the top. Getting that nice stretch. Breathing in. Breathing out. Perfect. And then you're going to walk your hands up that leg. Inhale, exhale, back up into that half teaser position. Set the leg down. Let's butterfly the knees when we get here. Nice forward fold. Stretch on the hips. Position. I'm going to go um, right knee bent, left leg straight. So right knee bent, bent, left leg straight, we add on when you're ready. You're going to reach for that leg. Again, you can always modify into the bent knee if that feels better for you. Otherwise, it's the straight leg. We're going to inhale, exhale, pulling in towards you, slowly roll, one bone at a time, walking the hands down. Once we get to the bottom, we're going to go into scissors. That hand is on the left leg, right leg extends, pulse, pulse, switch. Pulse, pulse, switch. Chest lift optional. You can always set your head down at any time. We're pointing the toes here for five, four, three, two, one. Switch to a flex. Flex the feet. Same thing, scissors. Flexing for five, four, three, 
two, one. Pause with the left leg up towards the ceiling. Right leg goes back to the mat, nice and bent. Inhale, exhale. We roll back up and set it down. We switch other side. Left leg bent, right leg straight. Adding that scissors on when we get down there. You're gonna pull that leg up. You can always go bent knee, modify. Inhale, exhale. Rolling all the way down once you get there. Left leg extends straight, right leg is straight. Chest lift optional, pulse, pulse, switch. Point the toes, pulse, pulse. Good. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Switch to flex foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, hand grab the right leg. Left leg goes back to the mat. Inhale, exhale, roll on up. Bring the leg down, let's butterfly those knees, forward fold. All right, we have both knees bent. We're gonna go into a boat position here. So option one, you can just hold the front of the, th uh, the back of the thighs and just pull up into a boat position. So finding your balance, you can be hovered right off the mat or as far back as feels comfortable for you. Once you found that position, if you wanna add on, you take the arms out in front. We're gonna go karate arms up and down. Keep your balance, pull the core in. Good. We are here for five, four, three, two, one. Hands are gonna stay and then we roll back to the forearms, back to the forearms now. Perfect. <clears throat> back on the forearms, we're gonna extend the legs to 90, down to 45, pull the knees in. 90, 45, almost like you're drawing a circle. With the shoulders, make sure the shoulders are pulled down, they're not up towards the ears. Good, breathing in, breathing out, finding the core work here. Neck is in line with the spine. Let's do two more like this. You got this, feel that core, last one. Legs are gonna stay straight at 45, we're gonna rainbow. Rainbow to one side, back to center. Rainbow to the other side, back to center. Bend legs if you need a modification. Straight legs is a little bit more work. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, feet come down, roll all the way down, back to your head now. Good job, guys, that's tough. A lot of core work there. <coughs> all right, we're gonna go into a little bit of oblique. So, hands are gonna come behind the head, elbows wide. And then you're gonna take the legs to a tabletop position. Once they're in tabletop, we're gonna open up to a frog. So, it'll be heels together, Toes apart, Pilates V, and the knees will be nice and wide open. Good. You're gonna come up into a chest lift. Find your oblique here. You're gonna go right elbow to right knee, reach back to center. Left elbow to left knee, back to center. You can always set the head down at the center if you need that modification. You wanna find that rib to hip as you go. Elbow to knee, keep the shoulders down. Low back is down, good. Guys got this, real tough obliques here. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Set the head down, set the legs down. Knees are bent, feet flat. Just open the knees and close the knees. Open the knees, close the knees. Catch your breath here, inhaling and exhaling. All right, dangling all the way down here. You have two options, hands can just stay on the mat. If you want more of an open shoulder, hands can go back behind you or out to the side. So different options with the hands, you can play around with it either at the mat, out to the side, or all the way up overhead. I kind of like out to the side the best for this one. We're gonna take the legs up to 90. Point the toes. We're gonna go a little crisscross here. So. Crisscross with the legs. We go three, two, one, open up wide. Back to crisscross for three, two, one. 
open up wide. Good, a few more like this. You should feel that opening of the hips. Perfect, finding that crisscross at the center. A little relief for the neck on this one. Good, we're here for two more. Pointing those toes, feeling it on the tops of the legs. Last one, legs up to 90. Bend the knees in towards your chest. Maybe rock side to side with the knees. Take a big inhale and an exhale. Good, I'm gonna add on that a variety for the scissors again here. So we started with the left leg, so I'm gonna go um, left leg at 90. Start with the right leg on the mat just to start. So left leg at 90. Right arm is gonna hold the left leg. So a little bit different here. Left hand goes behind the head. So the same leg that's up towards the ceiling, that hand's behind the head, opposite arm grabs the leg. Opposite leg will extend. You're gonna crunch towards your leg, open back out, lift the other leg, lower the leg. Turn towards the leg to crunch, rotate back open, lift that right leg, lower the right leg. Little rotation towards elbow to knee, Open, lift, and lower. You guys got this. Few more like this. Finding that crunch, that rotation, also that nice stretch of the leg. Good. Two more. Last one. You guys got this. Perfect. Set it down. Take an inhale and an exhale. If you're feeling too much with that neck, keep the head really heavy in the hand or just eliminate that part of the exercise. You can keep your head down on the mat. We switch, right leg goes up towards the ceiling, left hand will hold the right leg, right hand goes behind the head, when you're ready, left leg extends to 45. That right elbow is gonna come towards you, rotating, rotate open, lift the left leg, lower the left leg. Rotate closed, rotate open, lift the leg, lower the leg. You guys got this, if that rotation is too much, you stick with just the other part, Breathing in, breathing out. Try to keep those legs straight. Try to find that rib to hip oblique work here. We have two more. Perfect. Last one, these are tough. A lot of core I said today. Good, when you finish your last one. Knees can go bent, feet flat. Open your arms out nice and wide. Let the knees sway to the right as your gaze goes to the left. Getting a nice stretch, catch your breath. Inhaling back to center. Exhale the knees to the left, gaze goes to the right. Back to center, one more each side, just catching your breath, finding that nice stretch. Perfect, all right. When you're ready, we're gonna turn on to our side. So we're gonna go into some side line inner thigh work. I'm gonna turn this way. Options here, you can be laid all the way down with your head down. You can be propped up on the elbow or all the way on the forearm, you decide, but you want those hips nice and stacked. Legs are gonna be 45 degree kickstand to the front corner of the mat. Um, most challenging is up here on the forearm, but if you're on the forearm, I want you to really keep that shoulder pressed up. I don't want saggy shoulders here. You can always move down to the elbow. That feels better for you. We start just top leg lower and lift. It's our first option here. You can always go back to this one. Keeping nice and parallel. Again, those hips are stacked. Feel like you can lift the side body up off the mat. Really trying to engage the core here. Perfect. Good, we're gonna hold that top leg up. Bottom leg is gonna lift up to reach it, set back down, good. Bottom leg reaches up and down. Try to keep the top leg nice and still. Breathing in, breathing out. You guys got this for three, two, one. Keep both legs up, we're gonna scissor. One leg forward, one leg back. Keep your balance back to center and switch. This one's tough, try to keep those legs up. Off the mat, really finding those inner thighs, hips stay stacked. Good, we're here for five, four, three, 
two, one. Good job, set it down, take an inhale in and exhale. You're gonna lift those legs up again, heels together, toes apart. You're gonna bend the knees like a frog press, press back up. You should really feel that bottom side, that top side as well. Heels together, toes apart, keeping those legs lifted. I know I feel my top oblique a lot here. Bottom hand can help you, or you can keep it stacked on the hip to make sure those hips aren't moving. Let's do two more like this. Last one. Really zip those legs together as you press out, set it down. Top leg is gonna go up in front now. So bent knee, top leg is just right in front of your bottom knee. Bottom leg, lift and lower. Find that inner thigh as you press up. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. Again, top hand can be on the hip, keeping it stacked or on the mat. Should feel those glutes and those obliques. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Hold up high. Little brush forward, little flex back. Little sweep forward, little flex back. You got this. Keep that leg up. Feeling the legs here for five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Good. Extend both legs. If you're not on the forearm, we're all going to go to the forearm now. <laughs> We're gonna move into a side plank. Option, you can keep the bottom knee down for your side plank if you wanna modify. Otherwise, you're gonna have, let's go, top leg is in front, bottom leg is back behind, elbow is directly under the shoulder, and then the top hand is gonna go to the head. Good. Uh, let's keep the legs stacked. Legs are gonna stay stacked. Again, hips are stacked. Make sure hips aren't rolling back or rolling forward. They're nice and stacked, hand behind the head. You're gonna press nice and heavy into that elbow. You're gonna lift up into your side plank. Top leg lower, top leg lift, come back down. You can always modify. You can just find the lift and lower here. If you're adding on here, you press in into that side plank. Lift the leg, lower the leg, come back down. Good. A few more like this. Lift up. Good. Breathing in, breathing out. These ones are tough. Let's do two more. Last one. Pressing up into that side plank. Good. Once you're done, we roll on our back. Find a nice figure four stretch. That top leg we just worked. Ankle goes over the thigh. Pull it in towards you, that feels good. Rocking side to side. <laughs> Perfect, all right, we're gonna do that other side. So you can either just turn the opposite way on your mat or flip where your head is on the mat, switching sides. Again, you can be all the way down, propped up on the elbow or on the forearm. We start with just the lift and lower of that top leg. Keeping the hips stacked, side body lifted. Good, hold that leg up high. Bottom leg is gonna lift and lower. Keep the top leg nice and still. Good, breathing in, breathing out. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Keep both legs lifted. We move into scissors. One leg forward, one leg back. Back to center and switch. Try to keep the legs up high. You got it. Breathing in, breathing out. You should feel those obliques, that top side body. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. We're going into a frog, heels together, toes apart. You press out and back in, heels together, toes apart. Try to keep the legs lifted here. Should feel that top glute. Good, breathing in, breathing out. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Good, legs come down. Top leg is gonna go in front of that bottom knee. Lift and lower with the bottom leg. You can always hold the leg if that helps, or your hand can be on the mat. 
Breathing in, breathing out. You guys got this. Perfect. We hold up, we brush forward and back. Inner thigh sweeps, you should feel these. Try to keep that leg lifted, brushing forward, flexing back. Inhaling and exhaling, we're here for five, four, three, two, one, good. Set it down. Last little set here into that side forearm plank. So again, you can always keep the knee down here. You can just go lift and lower here. If you're adding on, legs are gonna go stacked. Forearm is down, top hand goes behind the head. We lift up into that side plank, lift the leg, lower the leg, come back down. Lift up, lift the leg, lower the leg, come back down. You guys got this. Breathing in, breathing out, a few more. Nice and strong with that bottom shoulder. Let's do one more like this. Good, once you're down, roll on your back. Find a nice figure four. Pulling that leg in towards you. <clears throat> Rocking side to side, that feels good. Catch your breath. Perfect, we're gonna roll onto our stomachs now. So we'll be prone onto our stomach. Getting some extension here. <laughs> I'm gonna start with swimming. So option one for swimming, you just have your forearms down, head on the forearms, you just do the legs. If you wanna add on, arms can go out in front of you and it'll be opposite arm, opposite leg. Feel like you can pull the belly button up off the mat, shoulders are down. Left leg lifts, right arm width if you're adding the arms, and then you switch. Switch, take it slow to start. But feel like you're pulling the fingertips and toes in opposite directions, belly button is lifting. Let's pick up the pace, it's a kick, 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 like you're swimming. Reach the toes, reach the fingertips. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, set it down. Uh, we're going to all take our hands down, though, so everyone's forearms are down, head is just resting on the hands. <coughs> we're going <coughs> to lift up the legs, toes are pointed, we're going to open, click the heels together. Open the legs, try to click the heels together. If you don't get the heels together, that's okay. Just find that movement, like you're squeezing the glute as you click. Good. Breathing in, breathing out. We're gonna hold those legs open. Little circle with the toes for five, four, three, two, one. Reverse, five, four, three, two, one. Feet down, press on back. Child's pose position, get a nice stretch. to our scissors. We're gonna grab that ball. <clears throat> Catch your breath when you're ready. Ball comes into the hands. Left leg to 90, right leg to 45. You're gonna reach that ball and then we're gonna figure eight the ball as we scissors. Head can stay down or you can be in that chest lift. Either way, back to scissors, pointing those toes for five, four, three, two, one. Flex the feet, five, you got it, four, three, two, one. Set it down, good job. We're gonna lift up the hips. Ball's gonna go underneath the tailbone like a little bunny tail. Hands can be on the mat. I like to take the hands out to a T. It helps you a little bit more with your balance. <clears throat> left leg straight at 90, left, right leg 45. We're going scissors, hands stay down, pulse, pulse, switch, point those toes, 
Good. Finding the balance on the ball. You got it. Use your core. You can always adjust the ball. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Flex the feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Set the feet down. Let's take <clears throat> hands back to the mat. Hands are back down to the mat. Shoulders are down. Feet are parallel, about hip distance apart. And again, that ball's just under there like a little bunny tail. We're gonna move into a bridge, just to the point where you almost lose the ball. So inhale, exhale, lift up those hips to a spot where you're just about to lose that ball, squeezing the glutes. Inhale, exhale, slowly roll back down onto the ball. Again, it's a tiny movement here. Inhale, exhale, tuck the tailbone, lift up those hips just to the point where you're about to lose the ball. Inhale, exhale, nice and slow, roll back down. Tiny movement, like a bridge, we're going up over that ball, squeezing the glutes at the top. Good, one more like this. Perfect. Right leg's gonna stay on the mat. Left leg is gonna come to tabletop or 90. Either way, we go into a single leg bridge. Inhale, exhale, lift up over that ball. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, exhale, roll back down over the ball. This is always a good option to help protect your bridges. But also, if you get to that spot right where you're about to lose the ball, really squeeze the glute, find that back body work. Can we do one more like this? Perfect, left foot down. <clears throat> right foot to tabletop or to 90. Inhale, exhale. Pressing into that left foot as you roll up. Find the glute, inhale, exhale, roll back down. Little bridges here. You got it, that kneecap should feel like it's pressing away. You're pressing into the big and second toe on that left foot. Shoulders are down, no strain in the neck or the face. Let's do two more. Last one. Good, set that foot down. Again, just a nice little open and close with the knees. That feels good. We'll do one more balance set here. Arms can go out to a T if that feels good for you. <clears throat> Taking those legs to tabletop. Shins parallel to the ground. Legs go to 90. Down to 45. Back to tabletop. Again, like we're drawing that circle. Nice and slow and controlled. Keep the core engaged. Perfect. On this next one, we hold down at 45. Little crisscross with the legs. Three, two, one, open. Three, two, one, open. You guys, we did this without the ball. Try with balancing on the ball now. Press the low back into the ball to help you with your balance. Good. Let's do two more. Last one. Good. Knees bent, feet flat. You can lift up those hips. Set the hips down. Feel that difference with the ball gone. Yeah, maybe you open and close the knees or let the knees sway side to side. Just getting a nice stretch here, catching your breath. Perfect, legs go straight down to the mat. Ball is still in the hands. We're gonna take that ball up towards the ceiling. Press your heels down into the mat. Squeeze the ball, inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. We're gonna see curve. Rolling all the way up into our roll up. Use that core, forward fold. Good, step back up. Nice and tall, two more roll downs. Nice and slow. Ball up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale. Nice and slow, rolling all the way up. Using your core, forward folding to find that stretch. Stacking back up. One more here. And on this last one, we inhale, exhale, chin to chest, 
rolling up into our roll up and we can forward fold, find a nice stretch. We're gonna stay seated. Good. Let's take legs straight out in front. Ball can just go in between the ankles here, right above the ankles. <clears throat> Arms are going to come out to a T, palms facing down, squeeze the butt, pulse, pulse to the right. Shoulders down, pulse, pulse to the left for spine twist. Good. Feel like your hips are in quicksand, they're not moving. We go one more side to side, finding that rotation. And then pausing back at center, you can grab that ball, butterfly the knees, little forward fold, roll the shoulders. All right, <clears throat> adding on, now we're seated, ball's gonna go in between the ankles. We're gonna go into our rolling like a ball. So, ball is between the ankles. You're gonna lift up into that boat position. You can always just hold here. This is option one. Option two, make sure you have enough room to roll behind. You're gonna tuck the tailbone, rolling back to just your shoulders, and then scoot back up into that boat position. Good, inhale, exhale, tuck, scooping, coming back up to that balanced position. We're using our core here. Good, shoulders down, pulling belly button to spine, not rolling to the neck. Let's do two more. Good, last one, you guys got this. Come up to seated, you can forward fold. Take an inhale and an exhale. One more set here, then we're gonna go into some stretches. You can ditch the ball. <clears throat> Let's go left leg straight, right knee bent. Uh, let's go just both legs straight. We're gonna go right into teaser. So, we're gonna roll all the way down to start. Once we're at the bottom here, you have two options. Option one, legs are gonna be in tabletop. That's a little bit gentler. If you want more of a challenge, legs go straight down to the mat. Arms come up towards the ceiling, palms face each other. It's an inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. Coming up into a V-sit position. Again, you can go to that boat position. And then rolling back down nice and slow. Option two, more challenging. Inhale, exhale. Up into that V-sit teaser. And then nice and slow, rolling back down. Two more like this, you guys got it. Either that boat position or straight leg. Good. Last one here, we're gonna hold our last one. You guys got this. Inhale, exhale, find that teaser, hold. You got it. We're right here for five, four, three, two, one. Nice and slow. Roll back down. Extend the arms back behind you. Find a nice stretch. <clears throat> Let's take right leg up towards the ceiling. Reach behind the thigh. Point and flex that toe. Take that leg out to the side. Nice white V stretch the left hip down. Back up to 90, cross that leg across, high T-band stretch. Back up to 90, bend the knee, extend, getting a nice stretch here. Maybe you point and flex the toe at the top. Just find a stretch that feels good for you. Maybe hold at the top, rolling the ankle one direction, and then the other direction. Good, lower that leg nice and long down to the mat. Left leg up towards the ceiling, reach behind the thigh or calf. Finding that hamstring stretch first. And taking the leg out to the side, wide V stretch, right hip stays down. Back up towards the ceiling, cross that leg across, nice side T band stretch. Back 
back up to 90. Maybe you bend and extend the leg if that feels good, getting that nice stretch there. Maybe you hold up towards the ceiling and point and flex the toe. Maybe you roll the ankle each direction. Extending that leg nice and long, back down to the mat. We're gonna press ourselves or roll up to a seated position. Let's go crisscross applesauce. You can always put the legs out in front if crisscross doesn't feel good for you. We're gonna take the arms out to a T, palms facing down. I'm gonna go to the right if you're mirroring me to the left. One hand lift comes down, find that nice stretch up and over. Try to keep that opposite hip down to really get into that stretch. Good. Inhaling back, exhaling. And over other side. Try to keep that opposite hip down. Good. One more side to side here. Finding that nice stretch. Top hand is pulling away. Finding that stretch. And up and over. Other side. Let's inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, reach. Just find a nice stretch. If you want to extend the leg, you can. Walking your hands back towards the body. Inhale, exhale. A little back bend. Hands can find the mat if that feels okay. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Maybe you let the neck sway side to side if that feels okay with you. Letting the chest open. to a V. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, side. Find a side stretch. And then forward fold towards that leg. Walking your hands back in. Inhale, exhale, side stretch first. Towards that leg. And then forward fold. Walking your hands back in, inhale, arms up, exhale, hands away. We're going to finish four-point kneeling, so four-point kneeling, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Right arm up towards the ceiling, thread the needle underneath that left shoulder, just getting a nice shoulder stretch here. Breathing in, breathing out. And if it feels okay on this next one, you hold your right shoulder down to the mat, just finding that nice stretch. Back to four point kneeling, left arm up towards the ceiling, thread the needle underneath, nice stretch. Gaze goes with the hand, opening. Good, breathing in, breathing out, finding your breath. Feels okay, we hold that left shoulder down to the mat. Perfect. Back to four point kneeling. You're going to tuck the toes, tuck the hips up to down dog. You can pedal the legs out here if that feels good. And then carefully walking feet into hands, shifting weight into feet. Inhale, exhale. Nice and slow. We roll all the way up. Three inhales and exhales. Inhale up. Exhale, hands away. Inhale up. Exhale out your mouth. Press the hands away. Last one here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, hands to heart center. You guys are all set. Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great weekend.